Sub of Kelim. Just something that's an interesting, interesting thing to know. He always uh, refers, or he very often he refers to the Chavura Kedosha Yerushalayim, the Holy Chavura in Yerushalayim. There's a neighborhood called Musrara, which is right outside the old city walls. And in Musrara is a Beis HaMusar that was founded by the Talmidim of Rabbi Yisrael Salanter. Rabbi Yitzhak Blazer of Naftali Amsterdam that was over there. Rabbi Simcha Zizel apparently never got here. But he always, he was obviously a Talmud, one of the main Talmudim of Rabbi Yisrael Salanter. And he was very much connected to such an extent that he said that the neighborhood Musrara some people hold that the Arabs named it after the Beis HaMusr. And you can go there. It's in Musrara. I never was there. But there was a Yisrael, a, a Yisrael the Martin, who just moved up to the Galilee. He learned in a koila there for a number of months. No, no, it's a Jewish neighborhood. Where is it close to? Musrara, you know Shivte Yisrael? The street Shivte Yisrael. Down the hill between the old city walls, the road, and Shifte Israel. There's an old neighborhood, which used to be a slummy neighborhood, which is now you can't afford to look at it, but it's uh, there called Musrar. And there's a Beis Musar of the Talmidim of Yisrael Salam. Okay. Um, when a man will have a ben sore or mora, he doesn't listen to the voice of his father and the voice of his mother. They punish him and he still does not listen. His father and mother will grab him and take him to the basin and they give him skill eventually. Omar Chazal. The beginning here is a little bit disjointed from the, I believe, from the Musar Haskell that he wants to teach, but it's really not. It's really connected. In Yuma Pevav, I couldn't find it on Pevav. Maybe it is on Pevav or around there. Those are all the dapim in, 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 in Yuma about Tshuva at the end of the Mesechta. Normally, uh, by human beings, if a man sins against his friend, he hurts his friend, maybe the friend will be mispious, maybe he won't. He'll try to make it up to his friend, maybe he will be mispious, maybe he won't. Hashem is mispious simply through words, simply through words. What do you mean just words? Doesn't it have to be that the person, and this we all know from the Rambam, what's called real tshuva, when a person will get to the same situation that he was in when he did the Avera, in the same place, in the, with the same woman, it's not enough just words. You have to go through this whole process in order to get the Pius from Hashem. For Amrle, in addition, Acharot of Kabbalah, I don't know what the Yud is, Ad Shiavoli Yadovi Natsel. The extension of that is, he has to come to that place, that Makom and that Isha, and get to the same exact situation and be saved from it. Words is not enough. Mikomakom Kasha, Halom Mishak and Mishachet Bekubia. Well, wait a second, there's another example. There's a thing called Mesachek Bekubia, a dice thrower. So we know dice thrower is puzzle for Adim. Puzzle for Adis, there's two reasons in the Gemara. Uh, he's not a Osek uh, he's not a contributor to society, or it's Avak Gezel. At any rate, a person's tshuva for being a dice thrower only comes Dafka. When he breaks the dice, it's not enough just to talk about it. He has to break the dice. The gun of Yachzir Aveda. A gun of has to give back the Aveda. 
It's a little bit strange because a stealing is not an avera against Hashem. I mean, everything is an avera against Hashem. But stealing is, you have to give it back to the person. And, ask, and we know explicitly, you can't ask, Hashem, please. You, like, you smash into someone's car and you say, Hashem, please forgive me. Go on. <laughs> so you've got to pay the guy back. <laughs> pay him. At any rate, it's not simply words. You have to go through more than just words. We spoke about the Indian like this. And I think what he's talking about here is that in all of these cases, the Torah and Chazal got to the depth of a person's feeling and his emotions and his attachment and his taiva, and accordingly, that's how he has to deal with his tshuva. Some need more of an action, some need less of an action, uh, more, uh, something like that. He be'emes matzino be'ben yotzoru more. Om the Torah al sovdato. We know the Gemara in Sanhedrin says that the Torah got to the depth of a person's neshama. Shemavakesh her gelo. What's the problem with Ben Sarah Mora? He, want, he, he gets used to doing something and he wants it more and more and more. Like in Minasi, he eats meat and he drinks wine, permitted meat, not nevelas. Ben Sarah doesn't get put to death for eating nevelas. Has to be kosher meat. Eventually, he's not going to find his meat and his wine, and he's going to go out and he's going to rob people. So we kill him when he's still uh, zakai and not chayev. He's going to come and kill people. It says milastem esabrios. It says milastem. Milastem, list him are armed robbers. I don't know if he's going to kill, but he's going to be an armed robber. So because he's going to be an armed robber, maybe an armed robber eventually will kill someone. I'm not so sure about that, but let's say he will. But we, the, Ben Soromar has to be put to death, Zakat, when he's still clean, clean slate, and not after he does anything. That's the, everybody knows, that's the basis of Ben Soromar. It's going to say later on, we're all Ben Soromar. Everybody has a little Ben Soromar in, in him. Maybe yes, maybe no. We'll see in a moment. Uh, maybe not everybody, but a lot of us, a lot of us. One moment. <clears throat> okay, ve'en omoitze, ve'ilestam habrios. He right, bro, he right, and he will rob the people. Ve'kosha, hello, ein daninos esa adam elo lefi ma'asav shel oisosha. It's a difficulty. How can you do that to the person? A person is only judged according to his actions at the time. Can he remi yishmoel? Shomer malach ha'asharis, like we read on Rosh Hashanah. You have the angels say that Yishmoel ba'ashir husham. You only punish a person because of how he is, not at what he will be. Even though Yishmoel was going to be a certain thing, he was at that point. He was. He was not that criminal, not that criminal. He was a a blameless person. So that's the kasha. Now, mitchila di barnu ki lechora kasha. Kaven di shiyesh kol kach tenoim beben sore or more in kain lama kosva. You know we have by ben sore more. Did I skip part? We know that it has to be. Yeah, you know you have a mother and a father. The mother and the father have to have the exact same voice. They have to look exactly the same. They have to. They have to have the same face. They have to be the same height. They have to be exactly the same. A lot of stipulations. You know. So what did the Torah write it for? So one answer in the Gemara. He doesn't bring that here. Rabbi Shimon says it's because it never happened. But it's to learn and to get reward for it. Rabbi Yochanan said, "No, there was a Ben Sorimor, and I sat on his kever." That's a Gemara over there. And they did what? Rabbi Shimon says that it never happened, never will happen. There are such stipulations that it's impossible to be able to apply this law. And Rabbi Yochanan said, no, 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 it did happen. There was a Ben Sorimor put to death, and I sat on his grave. But that's a different... There are a lot of stipulations in the law of Ben Sorimor. So what did the Torah write it for? 
seems like it's some far-fetched idea. How can it be? How can it happen that all of these stipulations are going to be fulfilled? It's more like Rabbi Shimon. Can't have that. You have a woman and a man, same height, same face, same look, same voice, etc., etc. It's very far-fetched. We spoke about the fact that Taiva brings into Migashem HaSeichel. Seichel is a good thing. The problem is the Taiva turns it into a negative thing. It's Migashem. Like from the Gashmias, it makes it into something not good. Kamama Rabbeinu Yona V'zach Yashar Po'alo. I don't know where this Pasuk is, and I don't know where the Rabbeinu Yona is, but Zach Yashar Po'alo, clean, pure, and straight are his actions. Let's say that's talking about a certain person when he wants to do tshuva and act properly, that what he has in his inside is going to affect the seichel and it's going to affect his actions. Because our actions come from what we have in our seichel, what I want to do. The opposite, if he does not have Zach and Yashar, it's the opposite. All his actions are Mehurasim, destroyed. It brings about bad actions. Bad actions. V'imkein, hasfina below karbanita, holeches, chashachim, below nogalo. If that's the case, the boat without the captain of the boat the ship, without the captain of the ship, sails in the darkness. Below no galo, with no light. Meaning that's without the proper seichel. It's going to drive this. And how does he have a, not, not have a proper seichel? When his time is control his seichel, it's going to drive his ship in an improper way. Our ship will be going up on the rocks. We'll be going in, in forbidden areas, minefields, etc., etc. Ha'esek below habal, habal ha'esek, milo yavin she is kalkel harbin. If you have a business without the bal ha'esek running it properly, it'll go bad. That's just the way of the world. That's how things work. The Heranu, and we showed, or we taught, Ladas, to know, Ki Ha'oyla Mutim, the world is mistaken. The way of the world is not like this. To have proper thoughts, and to have proper Seichel, and to have proper behavior. It's not like that. Shemar Gilehem Benehem Bataiva. The world accustoms, accustoms its children to taiva. That is the world. The world wants us to have taiva. It's either the physical world or people in the world in general who are not involved in Torah or something that is spiritually uplifting. Margileim, the word margileim is a little bit uh, miswritten. We would say margilim. The world doesn't teach people to think about spiritual things and to have your seichel uh, run by proper thoughts and, and, and not by improper desires so that the actions can be proper. No, it teaches people get as much as you can, spend as much as you can. Sounds like the world that we're in. Just get more and spend more, and get more and spend more, and get more and spend more. That type. I want more, and I want to. I want more money so I can buy more things. That's how the world in general teaches their children. I think it used to be back when that people would go to college. We're not recommending going to college at all, but used to be people would study humanities. I think humanities are not so popular now. Now what's popular is things that make you a lot of money. I think that's uh, 
And still kids are unhappy and depressed and everything, and they go home and they live with their parents till they're 40 years old. They're not any better. They're in fact worse. But it used to be people were interested in, so to speak, lofty things. They're not even interested in that. They're just interested, where can I make the most money? And therefore, I'm, I'm going to study that. At any rate, the world teaches against what the Torah teaches. Mm. The Holy Torah did not say like that. Adaraba, Bishvil Taiva, because of Taiva, which is what the world teaches its children. We see what happens with Taiva. Bishvil Taiva, Yaviyolo Avi Veimo. His father and mother will bring him. Because of Taiva, which is what is going to be inculcated in people now in the whole society, his father and mother are going to bring him to the base and to put him to death by Stila. The exact opposite of Torah. Ma'asa, what did he do? Loach basarasa. He didn't eat forbidden meat. If you look in the Gemara over there in, in the... In, in, in Sanhedrin, where the, where the Ben Sora Amara is, it has all the different things. If he eats treif meat, he doesn't get killed as a Ben Sora Amara. It has to be permitted meat. Permitted meat. Even the taiva for the permitted things. We're not even. Only the taiva for the permitted is things is what? What? Is it worse than Asa? Is it straight? I don't think he is, but he doesn't look like a Ben Sora Amara. Why? That's a Sora. It's understanding that. I don't know, but I would tell you that if it's because of what's going to be, and that's now, so you see the person is already in the now. So if the whole thing is because of what it's going to be. If he's already eating cheeseburgers and uh, doing all these bad things, so he's not Zaka anymore. He's not Zaka. Even though he's a kid. So a kid is not high to eat tra- on, on eating trade, but still. It, 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 it doesn't fit into oh, the... Soft daito. Yeah, it doesn't fit into soft daito. And it could be also that even though a, a minor is that, you know, a not bar mitzvah is not chayev, it could be it's, it's metam ten sure, right. could be it. Or it, sh- or it certainly is. It is. So he's not zaka. He's not zach anymore. He's not zach and He's not zach. It has to be that he's zach. He has to be zach now. He has to be pure now. So what did he do? He didn't eat cheeseburgers, he didn't eat pig. Abal hubal taiva. He's a bal taiva. Umutav yamuzakai. It's better that he will die with merit, meritorious, clean, and not die chayev. Because in the end he's going to hold up people, he's going to bump them off, and he's going to have to put them to death for that. Gam be'emes kedai lo'odam amechuyav misa. Litain mamon. Now, in truth, be'emes, it's kedai for a person who's mechuyu misa. Litain mamon harbe lo horgu besam v'lo besayef. A person would pay money. Now, there's the arba misas based in. So nowadays, they don't have death penalties anymore. I mean, they do, but they don't chop a guy's head off anymore. Give him the electric chair, that stuff. They give him a drug concoction. They give it in a, intravenously or something. I don't know. Apparently, it's not so pleasant. But a person, instead of getting sight, instead of getting his head chopped off, he would pay a lot of money. Listen, just give me a lot of sleeping pills and don't chop my head off. A person would pay money for that. It's worth it to him. It's worth it to him. Hashem would do that too. Hashem is a Rachaman. Hashem doesn't, you know, the Torah had chas, was merciful on this person to kill him b'skila when he's zakai. That is the Misa of the Sam, Neged Yom If you compare a person getting heavy sleeping pills to kill him, as opposed to getting his head chopped off, the Torah killing this boy when he is totally clean so they don't get all the mahabah is comparable to 
getting the heavy sleeping pill to put him to death as opposed to the harsh death penalty. That's what it's like. Now we can see the greatness of the punishment of Avera. It's Kedai to kill this person, this boy, with a Misa Hamura. Skila is Hamur. According to everybody except Rabbi Shimon, it's the most Hamur. Rabbi Shimon holds Shreifa. But the Chachamim hold, Skila is the most Hamur. And I'm putting him to death because of something maybe we, he will do in the future. So you see how Hamur the punishment of an Avera is, because we're giving him now the same strict, heavy death penalty, so he won't come to do the Avera. Whereas if he did the Avera, it would be a real heavy punishment. <laughs> From this, we are able to understand. Ki kol shekein, gadol murglis, all the more so a gadol, a grown-up, who is standing, who has this habitual taiva. Not me, of course. That's it. Everybody has habitual taiva, more or less, unless you're a person who's really totally broke the taiva. It says taiva mordless. It says it's ragil to do it. Sometimes there are people who are very great and they really don't run after their taivas. But they occasionally have a taiva. The rabbi went up to the zona and the tzitzit started. He's not a person who was ragil for this, but it happens. But there are people who are ragil. A lot of us are ragil with tithes. And not tithes for bad things. Tithes even for good things. Tithes for bad things. Definitely. What? What's good things? What type of good things? Not good. Not good things. Permitted things. Permitted things. Not good things. Okay. Made a mistake. <laughs> Disregard. <laughs> not, 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 not good. No. Things that are permitted, but they're still good. They're, they're not good there. Not good there. And I think even even good... Okay, Torah is a different thing. You have to love Torah like you love a woman, like the Rambam. It has to be like that. But other things that even are permitted, it doesn't mean you should have tithes for it. You're only according to what you need. According to what we need. It's not physical. The worst thing you could have. That was last well, but it's not physical. That was last. What? But it's not physical. I don't think it means even it's also physical. I think it means even spirit, whatever it may it's be. Emotional. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know about emotion. Emotion is already maybe sometimes a person a little more balance in these. But in general, I'm not supposed to run after things because I have a tie before them. Excuse me. Sorry. I'm not supposed to run after things because of taiva mordless, of ragil for the taiva. Gamken hayamuta. Now, if a person has taiva mordless, he has habitual taiva for even good things. Hayamuta shiyamu zakai. It would be good that he dies zakai, clean, and not getting all. Okay, can't it can't be because we're already over bar mitzvah and we've got our taivas already. But in theory. It would be this this law would be good for a, a regular person, for a grown up. That it's better that he should die zakai and not die chayev. I like my taiva so much that eventually the thing that's permitted to me, I'm not going to get it, and I'm going to go out and rob banks and rob who knows what and people to get my permitted taiva. It'd be better for a, a, all of us, for any not us but people, even a godol, even a grown up, to die zakai. The Torah can't do that. Larov Olam Kulo, I think he's talking about a person is an Olam Kulo. You're going to put together, you're going to put to death in Olam Kulo. Really, so that means really in theory, everyone should get put to death. Zakai. So that you should, well, and you're, you're destroying the world, you're destroying the individual world, each Jew is an individual, or you're destroying the whole world. Because if, you, if you're going to kill the Jew when he's Zakai, so that he shouldn't come to do the Avera. What about everyone else in the world? Maybe it's called Shekei. But Hashem doesn't do that. Hashem doesn't, can't do that. V'gam haya batal If that were the case, then Bechira would 
in a way, be bottle. The, 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 the I need to be able to be in the situation where I can have yes or no in order to be able to say yes and not no, and that's the Bechira, whereas if I apply this rule, then there's not going to be any Bechira, and Bechira is the whole reason for the whole Bria. But in theory, it's a correct theory that we should, that all people should die Zakai and not die Chayim. L'chein pirsha ha-Torah gavi mora, therefore the Torah explained, ki chein tov lo-adam bal taiva lamus Zakai. It's good for a person to die when he's zakai, clean, va'al yamus chayev. It's a rule. Except you can't apply it to a grown-up. And from this, people will take musr. We should take musr. To be kovish our taivas. To control our taivas. Because look what it leads to. It leads to robbing people at the crossroad. Therefore, it's good that the Torah gave all of these stipulations in order to be able to implement It won't all... It, it, it's meaning it's not easy to get to this situation where a person needs to be put to death Zakai and not Chayev. Aval Kevin Sheboli Ado Kol Atnoim. Since all of the Tnoim did come, you have them all Mistam Alo Bepam Rishon. Now, I'm not sure which Tnoim he's talking about here. Is he talking about mother the same boy, same look, etc., etc., or he's talking about the Tnoim that he mentioned at the beginning? where it has to be that he comes to the same place, comes to the same woman, etc., etc. Meaning if the person gets to that point where he is in the same everything, Mistama, that's a person who really is a Baltaga. And he really needs more. He needs more of a tshuva, like he said at the beginning. Mistama loba pamrisham. The first time it's not like that. Elakvar murgal bo. His hair should stand out, up on his head. Those who have hair. Your hair will stand up from this. From, from the, 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 the tremendous awe that, that we have from this, the terrible situation. Pen yivchan lemala beher galav haro'im. Maybe up in Shemayim, Yivchan. Someone there, the judge, Hashem obviously, is judging his bad hergelim. Ad, to such an extent, Sha'omri Lamala, Ben Sorer Umarehu. This person is a Ben Sorer Umare. I see this person, he likes his taibas. He's a religious Jew. He doesn't eat traits. He doesn't drink uh, forbidden wine. He doesn't do forbidden things. But he has such taivas, like this Ben Soru Mare, that if we let him continue, he's going to end up being chayiv. And it's better to kill him meritorious, zakai, and not chayiv. And then, Ben Soru who? Mare who? Yamu zakai. Maybe up above. My habits will be judged up there that Hashem sees my habits and he says this could lead to bad things and in theory the person should die zakai and not chayev so it's something it's an impetus for tshuva it's an encouragement for tshuva of course Hashem is not going to do it he's not going to say put to death a bar mitzvah in, in order that he shouldn't come to be chayev but in theory the theory applies to bar mitzvahs as well as minors. We have to understand that uh, Sifra Zizel is telling us that maybe there's uh, the judge in heaven, uh, a father in heaven, sees the individual, the personality type that we're talking about as thoughts of murder, of violence. No, I don't even, no, I, no. I don't even think it's that. No. 
He sees that the person likes ice cream sundaes. He ha I don't know, whatever it might be. I don't know. A bottle of, a bottle of wine. He, dr he drinks wine every day. Every day. And he drinks and he eats meat every day. For permitted things. Not for murder. The permitted for murder is a different thing. But he has permitted taiva. He he's talking about it, the hergel of taiva. He sees his hergel of taiva. That this guy likes meat and wine every day. Just like the kid will end up robbing people at the crossroad. But what happens if one day the guy runs out of money and he needs his meat and his wine? He'll end up robbing people at the crossroad. So it's better we kill him before he does that. But Hashem won't do it because it takes away Bechira and it's destroying the whole world. But in theory, it's the same thing. So I have to check out to see my Hergelim of my Taiva. Is it real Hergelim of Taiva? In which case I have to now correct that. I have to work on that and correct it. Whatever it may be. But a permitted Taiva. Yes. What, what if we saw that he was going a year, two years, every year with a big thing of steak and a bottle of wine, enjoying himself? He's still not even 12 years old, but he's only years like that. But his friends are, you see what he doesn't get it. Somebody doesn't get it. You see he goes a month without it. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, you have. Or you kind of, could it prove Hashem, well, it's not me. Is that a proof? That no, it's not. Uh, out there? Wait, you're talking about the, the kid or you're talking about the kid? By the kid, you just have to look in the Shulchan Aruch and see. There's no, no Shulchan Aruch. No, no, the the look in the no, 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 no. I don't know. You have to find yeah, the exact. I don't, what he's about. The exact halachas I don't know. What does it mean? He's, no, he's saying it. We we have to look. We have to look at our divas. Do I have a type or not? Maybe the reason why I didn't eat it. The reason I didn't eat it today is because I didn't have it today. No, let's go a month without it. That's it, right? He steal. So maybe that's not well, called maybe that's not called taiva mordless. I don't know. Maybe that's not called habitual <laughs> taiva. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But if it is, all of us have certain habitual taivas. Not all, but some of us do. Habitual taivas are permitted things. So those are the things we have to be careful of. Okay. Yeah.